talking about cellular respiration. Cellular respiration has three parts, which we will be talking about, which includes glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Build by the science guy. Science guy. Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Bill again from our Christmas special of Bill Nye the Science Guy. I have with me Dr. Jenny to explain glycolysis for us. In glycolysis, oxygen and glucose enter the cytoplasm. Then two molecules of ATP are invested to energize and split glucose. Two electrons leave glucose being and are accepted by NAD positive, making NADH carriers. The phosphates that were added are then removed, and this energy is used to make four ATPs. The reactions produce two pyruvates that are two three-carbon molecules. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. That's Dr. Jenny, everybody. Fun fact! This skeleton no longer partakes in cellular respiration. Fun fact! Cellular respiration doesn't only occur in humans, but in all types of animals, too! Hey guys, welcome back to Bill Nye the Science Guy. Um, it's me, Bill, and I'm with Dr. Hammer. And together we're gonna be explaining the Krebs cycle. So um, before beginning the Krebs cycle, each pyruvate that we make in glycolysis loses a carbon atom, which is caught by O2, or our oxygen, and they turn into CO2. Now, after that happens, one pyruvate passes into the mitochondria and into the mitochondria's inner matrix. Then, Electrons are transferred into NAD positive, making two more NADH carriers. Next, an enzyme called COA brings the two C molecule that we have from the pyruvate that entered into the inner matrix, and it is now called acetyl-CoA, and it comes into the Krebs cycle where it joins with a four carbon molecule. This forms a six carbon molecule, which is called citric acid. I'll take it from here. Then, carbons are removed and caught by O2, becoming CO2. Again, the electrons are transferred to an NAD positive and FAD making three NADH and one FADH2. Then, one ADP gets recharged forming ATP and then this cycle repeats for the second pyruvate. Really good, Dr. Hill. I'm impressed. And that is the Krebs cycle. Right, aerobic respiration occurs when you breathe. your fresh ATP straight out of the cellular respiration of it only at cell.com all of the energy you could ever need okay you guys welcome back to the lab it's me Bill and my friend Dr. Cavender Dr. Cavender will be explaining the electron transport chain take it away <laughs> okay so the high energy electron carriers NADH and FADH2 transfer the E negative to the inner membrane of the mitochondria then electrons are passed through a series of carrier proteins or the ion pump, creating energy to pump H positive to the outer compartment. Next, the low energy E negatives are accepted by O2 and two H positive ions making H2O. After that, a similar sequence occurs with FADH2. Here, H positive ions are pumped to the outer compartment. Then the high concentration of H positive ions diffuse back through ATP synthase. Finally, the energized enzyme transfers the energy to ADP to make 36 ATP. Bill Nye the Science Guy.